which were the biggest animals that ever lived on Earth. Today, we're going to be talking about the biggest animals that ever lived on Earth. These creatures were so massive that they would dwarf even the largest animals alive today. I mean, can you imagine an animal that's as long as a football field and weighs as much as 20 elephants? Or a creature with a neck that's longer than a school bus? Well, get ready to meet six of them. Without wasting any more time, let's get right into it, starting with number six. Number six, Argentavis. First off, let's shine the spotlight on one of the more underappreciated birds that ever existed, Argentavis magnificens, often referred to simply as Argentavis was an impressive prehistoric bird that soared through the skies during the late Miocene epoch, around 6 to 8 million years ago. Fossils of Argentavis have actually been discovered in Argentina, particularly in the region of the Andes Mountains. The name is starting to make sense now, doesn't it? The discovery sites suggest that Argentavis inhabited open grasslands and wooded areas near water sources. This suggests that the bird was likely an adept glider, taking advantage of updrafts and thermals to stay aloft for extended periods while searching for prey. One of the most striking features of Argentavis was its immense size. And by immense, I mean massive, with an estimated wingspan of up to 20 to 26 feet, 6 to 8 meters or more, this bird was one of the largest flying animals to have ever existed. Its wings were incredibly long and broad, which would have allowed it to glide efficiently over large distances with minimal effort. Number 5. Megatherium Next up, the Megatherium, commonly known as the giant ground sloth, was a colossal herbivorous mammal that roamed the Americas during the Pleistocene epoch, approximately 2.5 million to 10,000 years ago. This prehistoric creature was a member of the sloth family, Megatheridae, and is seriously huge. Fossils of Megatherium have been unearthed across various parts of the Americas, including South America and North America. These findings clearly show that the giant ground sloth inhabited diverse habitats, ranging from grasslands to forests. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Megatherium was its sheer size. Standing on its hind legs, it could reach heights of around 20 feet 60 meters, and weighed up to 4 tons, making it one of the largest land mammals of its time. Its front limbs were robust and equipped with long curved claws that it likely used for digging and gathering plant material, a behavior similar to modern-day anteaters. Megatherium skeleton also tells us a lot about this giant sloth. Its massive body was supported by powerful limbs and a sturdy backbone. Unlike modern sloths, which are adapted for arboreal life, Megatherium had a more bear-like build, suggesting that it spent a significant portion of its time on the ground. Interestingly, the discovery of Megatherium fossils contributed to the development of the field of paleontology. In the 18th century, these fossils sparked debates about the existence of large extinct creatures and led to the establishment of the concept of extinction itself. This laid the foundation for the study of ancient life and the recognition of the dynamic changes Earth's ecosystems have undergone over time, all because of a sloth. Number 4. Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl, a name derived from the Aztec deity Quetzalcoatl, was a colossal pterosaur that dominated the skies during the late Cretaceous period around 68 to 66 million years ago. Belonging to the family as Darkitty, this prehistoric flying reptile boasted an astonishing wingspan and showcased a range of adaptations that set it apart from other creatures of its time. Fossils of Quetzalcoatl have primarily been discovered in North America, particularly in what is now Texas and New Mexico. These findings provide insights into the creature's preferred habitat suggesting that it frequented environments like coastal plains and tidal flats, where it could find abundant food sources and open spaces for takeoff and landing. What truly set Quetzalcoatlus apart is its awe-inspiring size. 
with an estimated wingspan of 33 to 36 feet, 10 to 11 meters, it ranks among the largest flying animals in history. Its wings were incredibly long and had a structure that enabled efficient gliding over great distances. The creature's body was comparatively light, with hollow bones similar to those of modern birds. Its jaws contained sharp pointed teeth that suggest it was carnivorous, preying on smaller animals such as fish and other aquatic creatures. One of the most interesting aspects of Quetzalcoatlus is its mode of locomotion on the ground. Despite being a flying creature, it is believed that Quetzalcoatlus could also walk on its hind limbs. Its wings likely served as support, transforming into a third leg when on land. Number 3. Titanoboa Titanoboa cerahonsis, often referred to simply as Titanoboa, was a remarkable prehistoric snake that slithered through the tropical rainforests of what is now modern-day Colombia around 58 to 60 million years ago. This massive serpent, a member of the family Boidae, stands as one of the largest snakes ever discovered. The fossils of Titanoboa were discovered in the Cerrojón coal mine in Colombia, providing a window into the reptile's preferred habitat. It inhabited the lush, steamy rainforests that dominated the region during the Paleocene epoch. This snake likely thrived in swampy areas where its aquatic adaptations would have been advantageous for hunting and surviving in its environment. Arguably the most jaw-dropping feature of the Titanoboa was its size. With estimated lengths of up to 40 to 50 feet, 12 to 15 meters, and weighing around 1 to 2 tons, it surpassed even the largest modern snakes such as the anaconda and the reticulated python. This remarkable size was made possible by the warm climate of the time, which allowed reptiles to grow to unprecedented dimensions. Titanoboa's body structure was designed for both aquatic and terrestrial life. Number 2. The Megalodon The Megalodon stands as one of the most iconic and fearsome prehistoric predators to have ever roamed the oceans. But why? Well, this massive prehistoric shark ruled the seas during the Cenozoic era, particularly in the Miocene and Pliocene epochs, around 2 to 23 million years ago, with ease. Its name, derived from Ancient Greek, translates to Big Tooth a nod to its enormous serrated teeth that are often discovered as fossils. Fossils and teeth of Megalodon have been found in various parts of the world, including North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. These findings suggest that Megalodon inhabited a wide range of marine environments across different regions, from coastal waters to open oceans. The megalodon's preferred habitat likely encompassed warm and temperate waters where it could find an abundant supply of prey. It's believed to have roamed the continental shelves and frequented areas with bountiful marine life, such as coastlines, estuaries, and areas where nutrient-rich currents converged. In terms of size, while estimates vary, the general consensus suggests that megalodon could reach lengths of up to 50 to 75 feet. 15 to 23 meters, or even more. This gigantic size made it the largest known shark species and a formidable apex predator of its time. Its teeth alone could be as large as 7 inches 18 centimeters, in length. The megalodon's anatomy was specifically adapted for efficient predation. Its jaws were equipped with rows of large serrated teeth that could slice through the flesh and bone of its prey which likely included marine mammals like whales and other large fish. Its immense bite force, estimated to be several times that of a modern great white shark, enabled it to take down even the most massive prey. Interestingly, despite its portrayal as a ferocious killer in popular media, Megalodon's behavior and lifestyle remain largely speculative due to limited direct evidence. One theory suggests that Megalodon may have engaged in scavenging as well as active hunting, taking advantage of its size to feed on whale carcasses and other available food sources. Number 1. Blue Whale 
The blue whale is a marine mammal that holds the distinction of being the largest animal ever known to exist on Earth. The competition isn't even close. These gentle giants inhabit oceans around the world and are renowned for their impressive size. Blue whales are actually found in oceans across the globe, ranging from polar regions to tropical waters. They undertake seasonal migrations, often moving to cooler, nutrient-rich waters in search of their primary food source, krill. These migrations can span thousands of miles and are vital for their survival and reproductive success. Blue whales are filter feeders, using baleen plates to sieve massive amounts of water and filter out krill. They engulf large mouthfuls of water and then use their tongue to push the water out, leaving the krill trapped in their baleen for consumption. Finally, one of the most astonishing features of the blue whale is its crazy size. These majestic creatures can reach lengths of up to 100 feet 30 meters, and weigh as much as 200 tons or more. To put this into perspective, the heart of a blue whale can be as large as a small car, and its tongue can weigh as much as an elephant. Despite their colossal size, blue whales are remarkably graceful swimmers, capable of gliding through the water with incredible ease. And that was our list. We hope you learned something new today. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on videos like this. See you next time.